This is Serenity Ledger's video for this 2007 uh, Weinberg Meteor, uh, which is a German tag axle uh, six berth motorhome. And the video has been made um, in association with the photographs and editorial, no doubt you've already seen. And this will give you some very sort of up close footage and uh, even more of an honest description of the camper. Um, right, Weinberg is sort of associated with NAS, so they're sort of quite a high end uh, motorhome. This is on the Alco five ton chassis. Um, so you have a very big sort of storage locker here down this side um, the wheels you can see are in very nice condition we've put six brand new tires on it there's nothing wrong with the previous ones other than they were just sidewall cracking due to age uh, and the meteor has quite a big garage which is a, quite a big feature of it there we go very spacious indeed uh, fully winterized motorhome so it sort of dumps its own water if it can sense that it's going to freeze up um, but yeah, it's a big, big motorhome with a sort of fairly low level lip on it. A big motorhome, big garage, sorry. Uh, all the um, lockers have got um, uh, sensors on them for the uh, alarm, which is an option. You've got a tow bar, ladder to get up the top. All the plastics, uh, fiberglass corners and everything are all in very nice condition. Another entrance to the uh, garage on this side. There's a very small little scuff here. You can see just on the edge of the door, but hardly anything. Uh, other than that, on this side, in terms of condition, uh, it's free from all pimple marks or scratches. It's very good. There's another big sort of storage locker here, which slides out. Gas locker on this side as well. Uh, those are LED daylight running lights they've had fitted. Yeah, it's very, very good indeed, condition-wise. So this will be running on the uh, <coughs> uh, 160 brake horsepower um, 3-litre Fiat Ducato, which is plenty of power, I can assure you. I've driven these uh, uh, Ducatos all over Europe, done lots and lots of miles in them, and they're very good. Uh, right, you've got cab. Um, oh, you should shut that up. Uh, it has got cab air conditioning, obviously power steering, six-speed gearbox, uh, integrated blinds into the windows. Uh, same as the front one, just pulls all the way across. The, um, there's a bed here with twin windows, uh, so you don't get the feeling of claustrophobia. Plenty of light coming in, that's a big bed. And obviously if you're travelling, you can just fold that up out of the way. It just stays up, giving you lots of additional head height. Uh, this is a view sort of running down the camper. Uh, forward facing seats here with seat belts. Uh, this will turn into one sort of double bed if you want it to or you can use it as sort of two singles. There's a large bench seat here on the side. Um, the upholstery is, oh there's additional seat belts in here as well, there's two additional seat belts. Uh, upholstery is unmarked, it's very very good without question. Same on this side. No marks to the table. Um, lots of sort of plenty of overhead storage. Uh, that skylight there is an electric one. See a little button on the side because it's quite high up to sort of wind it, so it just has an electric button. Just press that and it goes up automatically. Uh, galley area here. I'll push that curtain in. Galley area here. And then there's an oven down the bottom there. Smev oven and a large fridge freezer. If we can get that open just to show you what it's like inside. Oh, wrong way, that's what I was doing. There we go. You really do need the sort of big fridge freezer on a motor of this size, assuming you obviously you are carrying sort of four, you know, probably up to six people, then the extra fridge sizes. Very beneficial. Uh, it's got an integrated television with it already. That just door just shuts it off like so. Uh, it's your control panel. That's just the cover missing for the satellite uh, system at the moment because we're waiting for a new one to arrive. There we go. Heating control panel, etc. And then moving into our uh, sort of bedroom, you see you've got this sort of large transverse double bed. Again, mattress in very nice condition, plenty of storage. 
Uh, just use the steps as opposed to a ladder to go up, which makes it a lot easier. Sinks here. Stand yourself sink. And then your toilet and shower are in here. Tepford CP50 electric flush toilet. And then a nice big sort of separate shower with a perspex glass, uh, perspex door, perspex glass door comes across. There we go. Um, all the sockets, despite obviously being European motor, all the sockets are uh, UK ones, as you can see. Um, and as I said, overall condition of the interior is excellent, without question. There's a curtain that you can see, which uh, just recesses in here, which comes across just to separate this bedroom from the rest of the camper, if you so desire. Okay, that completes Serenity Leisure's video for this 2007 19,000 mile Weinberg Meteor.